Welcome back to Out of the Rough, the Association of Women Entrepreneurs edition. And uh, Fred, we have another fabulous guest. Absolutely, Lisa. Lisa Urick, and she is a clinical hypnotherapist and wellness coach. And she's actually a contributing author in Amazing Woman, What's Your Story? So welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, and I want to start with, what is your story? Why did you get into uh, hypnotherapy mm. wellness coaching? Okay, well, it uh, actually evolved very organically. It was uh, a progression of, of my personal life. My personal life, as I was younger, I was very um, insecure, had a lot of body image issues, um, just just not very much out there, very shy, extremely shy. This, this would mortify me to do something <laughs> like this, you know. Um, so it was just an evolution. I kind of forced myself to do a lot of the things that I work with my clients on right now. Nice. So. I love it. Now, let me ask you, what, what different services do you do to help people? Tell me about a little bit about hypnotherapy because okay. it's something I don't, I don't quite know. Well, hypnotherapy works with the subconscious mind, okay? So we have our whole mind. We only use about 12% of our conscious mind, very small. The rest of our, is our subconscious mind that are things that we learned when we were young, like from zero to eight years old, and we tend to revert back to. So you may start your day off, let's say for example, you wanna hit this, you wanna work out every day, okay? So you start off in, a mor in the morning and you think, I'm gonna do this today, and by three o'clock in the afternoon, you're like, you know, it's more fun if I go through Burger King drive through right mm -hmm. now, rather than go to work out. Because mm -hmm. it reverts back to what happened when we were younger that was comforting to us. We go back to those things instead of working consciously with what we already know we wanna do. And I think so. the, the average person does go back to something that's more comfortable. Absolutely. Um, it, we, as conscious or subconscious. Some people say, uh, I consciously want a glass of wine. I don't want to go work out. Right, right. <laughs> and then, well, that's true. And, yeah. then <laughs> and that's the 12%. And then the other part is the subconscious. Right. You know, do I really want to do that? Right. Yes, exactly. All right, so you help people with different modalities, not just hypnotherapy. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about the other ones? Uh, imagery, which is a it's different kind of form. Not Some people think, you know, hypnotherapy, they're, they're thinking more stage hypnosis, things that are way out there, which, you know, isn't the purpose of what, what I'm doing here. Um, imagery actually works with, with our mind as well, but that we're projecting and seeing exactly what it is that you want to step into. Picturing that model right there. Um, so I do that. I do wellness coaching, which includes the physical work, um, fitness training, um, anything health-related, nutrition-related, um, spiritual work as well. You know, I some see. people talk about you know, just... You talked about your physical being. Mm -hmm. By just sitting up straight or sitting up straighter, when a, a lady's walking by herself, just the confidence of walking by herself, she's less likely to be um, to be uh, approached, if you will, uh, by somebody that, that that's that's really not trying to do something nice to her. Mm -hmm. And so, I think that's so important on how you conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about yourself? Exactly. How do you present yourself? Starts inside. How you carry yourself. Exactly. Yes. It works all from the inside out. And you, that's what I work with you people work with on. four so four elements, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about those? Yes. Uh, first one is emotional well-being. So keeping our emotions in check and, and where we want them to be. Mental balance, of course. Uh, the physical well-being, physical health, wellness, which includes rest, like I said, nutrition, uh, fitness, stretching, strengthening, yoga, which I'm a huge proponent of and I've taught for about 20 years, practiced for about 30, um, and also our spiritual growth. Where are we going with that? And it doesn't, it, it's whatever it is for you. What makes you happy? What uh, brings love to you? Brings love to you and what are you emitting as well? What are you putting out there? You, you know what's amazing to me, and I, I know we only have a minute, but one thing that is a common thread is going for a walk, mm -hmm. you know, in the woods or on the beach or just around your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. it, it, it helps your physical being, mm -hmm. which helps your, you know, what you eat because you want to be more healthy. But the nature brings out the endorphins in you. I mean, it, really, you can get yourself started by really having some confidence in getting out. Right. Getting right. out from behind your desk and going for a walk at lunch or or with your significant other in the morning, evening or not, do you find that that's sometimes a, a good medication for people? Oh, absolutely. It's a good way to recalibrate yourself mm -hmm. and recenter and balance. And you look at all those aspects. You take into it the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. It's all right there just going out for a walk. Yeah. So if people are feeling unbalanced mm -hmm. and they want some support, how can they get connected with you? Okay. Well, um, my number, they can contact me, is 818-620-5336 or on Facebook as well, uh, facebook.com backslash Lisa Urich Therapies. Nice. T-H-E-R-A-P-I-E-S. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. And thanks for coming in. Thank okay, you, great. Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, great job. And if you were nervous about doing that, then you're fabulous this time. Oh, good. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa, Eric, and uh, great guest again. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, we're going to jump to a quick break, and we'll be right back.